Hi and welcome back to the Bucket List with me, Beth Krista Wilson. Now next up tonight, wrestlers from all over the world flock to Leeds this weekend for Tidal Championship Wrestling. Much of the focus was on Hardcore Holly and Liam Lazarus and we managed to see them in action. So Liam, you've won the title recently uh, for Tidal. Can you tell us a little bit about what that title is, when you won it, sort of the, the background? Yeah. Um, the Tidal Championship is the main belt here at Tidal Championship Wrestling. It doesn't have a weight class as such, it is just more of a case uh, you're the top dog in the company. I won it December 23rd against Rampage Brown. Rampage Brown's one of the best in the UK, so like that was a big achievement for me, especially like early on in my career. Um, so what are we now? September, I've had the belt nine months. How do you see your role in an event like this? Because we've got a lot of wrestlers who are, you know, starting out in their careers or we've had some deb debuts tonight. We've got um, people who maybe haven't made it as far as you have, haven't won a championship yet. How do you see your role in terms of helping the scene generally and wrestlers as, as a whole? Do you, are you sort of the central point that holds this all together? No, not at all. I, I'm just a guy that wrestles. Um, I've been fortunate enough that I'm holding the belt, but all of us together make the scene, not just one person, you know. There's people that are bigger parts, but I'm, I'm just a piece in the puzzle at the end of the day. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just a guy that wrestles, I, that, that's it really. But um, a lot of people here tonight have described you as, you know, maybe the sort of the hero of the piece. You know, you're, you're somebody that people like, the fans like you, and they want you to do well. Is that, do you think that's just something that's a part of your, your personality? Or have you, do, you, do, you, do you think that's important? To, do you like having the fans on your side? What, why, why has that come about? Um, I, I don't know. Maybe there's something about me that's genuine. Maybe people just like the song. Um, yeah, I don't. I do try and be liked, I do try and like make an effort, I do try and be the good guy in the situation, you know, um, honestly stuff just happens, um, yeah I guess people just like the music and then like people have liked me because of that by proxy, I, Tidal is my company, like I take great pride in, in everything that we do here, this is, this is my building, this is where I've grown as a wrestler. Um, when I walk into this building, I feel pride, and when I, whenever I wrestle for title, I feel like I need to perform as much as possible. And I think the the fans understand that, and like I'm guessing some of the wrestlers get that I, it's my baby, really. Well, I mean, you've achieved so much at 21. If someone wanted to get into wrestling and they wanted to be successful, not just get into it and really just not be able to do very well, what do you think the secret is? Is it just about being really serious? Pretty much, it's it's a job. At the end of the day. Um, wrestling today is so easy to get into, there's so many training schools, you know, there's, it's so open and I'm always happy to talk to people about wrestling, but they've got to put in 100% of the effort, like, I, I live, breathe, sleep, eat wrestling, like, I really do, and if anything, I could probably do it more, um, you've got to be serious about it, because if you're not, if you turn up and you just sort of go, yeah, I'm not right bothered, it, wrestling doesn't owe anybody anything. You know, it, it doesn't it doesn't owe you a job, it doesn't owe you a life, it's just you've got to go out and you've got to do as much as possible. You've got to be serious about it because if you're not, it'll eat you up, you know. That that's it at the end of the day. Train hard, work hard, and you get the benefits out of it. <laughs> Okay, so uh, it's a big night for you guys, but I understand there's a few distractions. There's a little bit holding you back because there's been a bit of uh, a bit of drama in, in your personal relationships. Uh, who would like to talk about that? It's early days in the relationship. I'd, I'd say we're, we're very much, very much strong. We are. We're very much, very much in love. Team Loom are in love. Head it here first. Thank you. So I mean, you can see we're just we're made for each other. It's you know. So, you know, you've, you've both got this pretty much figured out, haven't you? You're the eye candy, you're sort of like the guy who's in charge of things. Has there ever been any dispute about that or has that just been accepted? You both came into it like that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think Lana definitely runs the show. And the boss. You're the boss, you're the boss. Yeah, I've got to say, I'm surprised you went into wrestling. If you're, you know, wrestling is not a pretty business, is it? It's quite, it can get quite ugly. I make it pretty. 
I make this business prettier. Okay, so Chris, uh, debut night for you tonight. How are you feeling? Confident as always. Okay, so uh, who are you up against? Um, it's Martin Kirby tonight. And he's legit one of the premier athletes, premier wrestlers in the UK at the moment. So it's a big challenge, big debut. Big match. What does tonight mean for your career? Well, a win is going to look good for me, obviously. A win's always good. I always win, so I'm always good. Simple as that, really. It's a it's a difficult life, a lot of work. You know, why 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 professional wrestling? That is a that's a tough choice. Well, you know, as a kid when you watch wrestling, you know, um, everyone did when they were kids. Don't even deny it. Everyone did, didn't they? And I did, and I wanted to be one. I didn't think it was possible, and then I'm one. So it's quite a big night for you actually, Joe, because uh, you are fighting Hardcore Holly, who is, by all rights, quite well known. You know, he's, he's a big star. How do you feel about that? Well, actually, sorry, one question I should just say. You fought him last night. How did that go? What happened? Um, well, I faced him last October, um, and, you know, Hardcore Holly certainly lives up to his name. You know, he one of the most respected veterans on the scene. And you know, when you get in the ring with him, you're having a, you're fighting. You know, you're having the fight of your life. He brings, he makes you respect him. If you didn't respect him before, which I certainly did, he makes you respect him. So last night was just like we, you know, the last time I wrestled him, it was very physical, and um, I managed to equal up the score. So it's one-one between the two of us. So this evening, you know, he's going to be looking for that win. You've retained your title, so you know that must be pretty good for your career. It's huge, um, obviously, being able to not only uh, walk in as the champion, but also to say that you've retained it against somebody like Hulk or Holly. That's a huge deal. You know, when I got into professional wrestling, you know, I wouldn't be expecting to be stepping in the ring with somebody like that and getting that opportunity, not once, not twice, but three times doing that tonight in Leeds. That's, that's massive, not just for me as a professional wrestler, but for me as just a person and being a wrestling fan. Last question is, what's the big thing you're looking forward to tonight? What's the fight that you really just can't wait to see? It's got to be my own, you know. Tonight, it's me and Hardcore Holly. It's one apiece, and I don't intend on losing. You know, I've, I've been in the ring with him. I've taken that Alabama slam, and I do not intend to do it again. So I'd be watching out for me and Hardcore Holly. OK, the main question I think I have is that, you know, you are a professional wrestler and now on the independent circuit. I have heard in an interview you say that you were slightly bothered by people who just go into wrestling so they could be big on TV. You know, you like it when people get in because they're passionate. Yeah, I like it when they have passion. I, I don't, because I don't, a lot of guys, they want to get into wrestling and they think, oh, I can do that. And they, they get into it just because they see it's, they want to be on TV and they don't have the passion for it. The guys that are successful are the guys that have passion for wrestling. That's what I like to see. You know, I, I mean, I want to see everybody make it, but I, I don't really care for the guys that just come in, oh, I want to try that, and, and they don't have the passion for it. And, and a lot of the boys feel that way. That's what you ask anybody. So I was thinking when I saw that, that being on the independent circuit, coming to an event that's a bit smaller like this, you must uh, really get along better. How do you find the people you work with? They, they feel your agenda. Oh, I love, the, I love the people. And this gives me an opportunity to meet everybody and because when, in WWE, whenever we did meet and greets and stuff like that, they bring them in the back, we'd sign, take a picture, and then off they go. They don't get a chance to talk to us or anything because they, they brush them off real quick, you know. And, and I love doing this, especially coming over here because the, the fans are, are just, they're awesome. I love them. They're, it, it's almost like they're very grateful for wrestling, you know, and, and they just, they get into it. And, and the, the ind independent scene over here in Europe is, is booming, it's, going, it's crazy. And there's a lot of great talent, a lot of great talent. I'm done. That's definitely true. And even though you said uh, that people don't need to thank you for being here, a lot of the wrestlers we've interviewed, they said that they, they do feel that you being here does help to kind of push it to the next level. Is that something that you'd really like to see? I do. I do. And what I like to do, and, the, and one of the reasons I come here, and, and I tell the promoters this too, is I'm here for a reason. I'm here to help these guys in the back learn, you know, because you're only as good as the people you work with. So if you bring somebody in that's been to the big dance, that has experience, and they can all learn from me because I, I, I talk to everybody. I give them advice, everybody advice. You know, a lot of guys will come up to me and say, hey, will you watch my match? And I'll watch their match and I'll critique their match. And that's how they learn. So, and, and that's one of the things I love helping guys. I love, because I want to see everybody make it. Because I, listen, it was hard for me to make it. And that was a dream that I achieved. So I know what it feels like, and I know how these guys in this locker room feel. 
and they want to achieve that dream. And so I, I want to see them do it, and I will do everything I can to help them. Everything, you know, if it's advice or talking to somebody, if I see that they've got what it takes, I, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to somebody and, and uh, get them down the, uh, you know, right road. That's it for the bucket list tonight. If you want to get in touch, you can tweet us using the hashtag bucket list or send an email to bucketlist at maidenleaves.tv. That's all for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.